Hello, Dave here. I got a little bit of work done and uh, got the scaffold through to this end of the trailer so that I can get up there and work. I like the way that the uh, shadows play through the uh, span of metal onto the, the scroll pattern up there. I uh, I got damaged the other day. Oh, my back. This is the great thing about getting older. You don't have to do anything and you get pain. I found out if I do these scrolls and then paint them before I weld everything up, I get way less uh, spatter. I'm using uh, uh, 6011 arc rod. Anybody wells that, you know it's it spatters out there pretty good. Makes a lot of cleaning. So working my way through because I got uh, that was the first one, and then that one, and of course that one over there. Now I'm working on these two for for this section here which which then will make the deck up there uh, it's only be 12 feet huh they're four they're essentially four four feet wide and eight feet long so I'll have three of them up there it's only 12 feet I got another one ready to weld up another uh, rosette ready to weld up here got it kind of laid out a little bit and it was when I was <coughs> cleaning these. Can you believe that? Sitting there on my bucket stool. Got everything set up so I'm not stretched out. I'm, you know, fairly comfortable. But it tore my back up. And uh, I've just been trying to recover here for three or four days. The strange thing is, I really all my life working in this industry I never got a, a back injury I mean pulled a muscle a couple times but no uh, no real severe injury or nothing but anyway that's what it's gonna look like just put it up there this is just a little short video I've been uh, hibernating it's uh, can't hardly bend over. I'm beginning to get better now. But as soon as I get the other uh, rosette welded up, I'll have these two. And then I can do my next section over here. And I've uh, been thinking about uh, handrail because can't just walk around 13 feet off the ground up to the edge so these are going to be little pockets I'm making uh, pockets I'll weld these nuts on got a little sack a couple sacks of nuts here and got 50 of them gonna need a lot of them and I got I'll, I'll have a XY axis so we weld two on now this hole ooh, that's hot hot out here goes all the way through and that's going to be the bottom now the reason for that hole is for a clean out because these will be welded up there permanently and I mean here in the woods we got a bunch of coastal redwoods here and boy do they drop a lot of pine needles and so I, I need a way to clean this out because when they drop in here I don't want it filled up and and this way it'll be welded down here all the way around and I'll have this little clean out it goes all the way through and I already figured uh, I want to have a bunch of those up there but uh yeah I got this this turned out to be a bucket load of work and that's okay I, I like to stay busy I just uh, kind of uh, disappointed that hurt my back so much you know when you sit there and well the, the truth is I, I did I came out here and I probably 
welded about about 50 rods and when you weld you kind of have to hold yourself in in one position and not being a spring chicken anymore got the better of me well when I get a little bit more done when I recover from my damages I'll make another video thanks for watching talk to you later bye